Salutations, <laughs> coming to you hard with another Fast Blast uh, video. It's just designed to actually spark your interest in something. And this one is fun, it's gonna be short because I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's just a phenomenon that it caught my attention. All right, we're gonna talk about MRI machines and entities, beings. And also I'm gonna throw in there X-ray machines also. Um, something that you know makes me wanna bring this up is uh, the second year I spoke at the Assetti Ranch, 2017, uh, when I got done, Jimmy Church wanted to do an interview on Fade to Black when I was still on property. And we did it. One of the things he asked me was, Barry, you had something about uh, MRIs and, and entities. We talked about that. Talk about that. I was like, wow, you caught that? He said, yeah, that's my job, man. So it's interesting. Um, what actually spawned my interest in this goes back to probably the late 90s. I was listening to an, uh, an episode of Coast to Coast on the weekday with Art Bell, and he started talking about MRI. And somebody called in and mentioned that they were an MRI technician and they had a problem with entities around these machines. And after that, he talked about that, and after that, he started just getting flooded by car calls from different technicians saying that they were having this type of a phenomenon. So I started talking to people, being myself. I have questions, and as a matter of fact, um, I've talked to a few technicians now in my, home, in my hometown, but one of them, the most interesting one, would have been actually 2017, not long before I went out there to speak, I had to get my uh, wisdom to teeth x-rayed. So it's one of those things you set in and you're kind of going to the side and stuff like that. And I mentioned something to this lady. I said, yeah, I've heard about uh, entities manifesting around the MRI machine and um, also uh, x-ray machines. And her eyes got so big, her mouth kind of fell open. She goes, where'd you hear that? And I was like, oh, I've just, you know, heard things. And then she started talking. She's about my age. She said she used to be an x-ray, used to be an MRI technician, and now she does x-rays. And she, had, she said what I had heard before is that there are two different types of entities that are connected. Now remember, we're dealing with these, these, these machines, we're dealing with coils, different types of coils, creating those uh, toroidal, tor toroidal fields and things of that nature, electromagnetic phenomenon. This is serious. We have some beings that are constructed of electromagnetism. Very, very interesting. Electricity, if nothing else, this takes us into the electric universe as well. Anyway, back to um, point. She had said that the entities that seem to come out of the MRI or be around the MRI would follow her home and follow other technicians home in the way that they would start having nightmares and dreams, odd dreams, seeing flashes, things in their homes, things of that nature. And she said the ones that she seemed to encounter around the x-ray machine were much more fleeting and they didn't seem to stick around. They were just a fleeting type almost phantom type of a deal. So I found that very interesting. <clears throat> She'd also mentioned that this MRI machine was in um, an abandoned part of our hospital there, a the large hospital where I live, but uh, it's an abandoned wing of the hospital that's no longer in service. And she thought there was maybe a reason for that due to some of the electromagnetic phenomena that occur, occur with this uh, MRI machine. Now I've talked to other technicians, nothing, they never had anything happen. But there's obviously several people that are more sensitive that have had something like this happen in these things. Another thing that I had noticed when I started studying this phenomenon is some of the scientific studies that have been done on dead animals or dolphin brains. Even when some of them are in, uh, uh, deceased, you're still getting like these weird images on, on, the, on the pictures. I'll post some of those. They almost look ghost-like or entity-like more than what just our sinuses and cavities should look like on these pictures in my opinion especially if you're taking a picture of something that is no longer should no longer be generating electromagnetic energy if it's a deceased dolphin brain <clears throat> you wouldn't think so anyway these are just things to be aware of when dealing with that phenomenon i think there's a definite connection there and let's throw something in for fun all right let's throw something in for fun um a couple days ago i was on my good friend floor burn show she called me at probably 11 o'clock at night and was actually on air, so I talked for a little bit, not been on there for a while, but uh, she's a good friend, definitely, and so people that want to throw hate and try to uh, put kind of a little distance between us or something like that, trying to stir things up, a lot of people are trying to attack her right now, I won't be a part of that. Her and I talk quite frequently, I'll know, don't even try it. Anyway, <laughs> um, she wanted to talk on her, on her show, so I did that, we talked a little bit, and something I brought up or came up inadvertently is um, Ghostbusters 
And in Ghostbusters, you know, they had these different devices, but one of their devi devices was called a ghost trapper, and it would actually hold the ghosts in it. And I'll put pictures of that up, too. But uh, something that I found out when working with a couple of these ghost hunters, and I had heard through other psychics and mediums as well, but I found this to be true, not known a lot, but is that um, bug repellers, the ultrasonic bug repellers, can be used and put, if they, they're spaced correctly, over walls, several walls in a room, they can actually stop ghosts from going through the wall. So it can keep them trapped or keep them from coming in. And when I saw people using their electromagnetic frequency things uh, in these rooms, when they would try to apply this, I would see it either decrease or increase according to these, uh, these, these bug repellers. So that's interesting because that's not exactly totally electromagnetic, uh, sorry, elect electro electric, uh, mag electrical mag magnetism, but it's also sound. So it's putting sound into it to a degree also, because those use ultrasonic. So it's very interesting, what does that do that disrupts the energy field of a common uh, apparition? I don't know, just food for thought if nothing else. So if you're going to make one of those ghost trappers, it would probably be cons made for actually of uh, these ultrasonic devices, something similar to where you could put those on a wall. They definitely do something. That's something you can try yourself with your own equipment. Anyway, please subscribe to the channel. I'm on a shadow ban still, and I want to put, point this out. Several people have told me definitely make sure you go to the side, not just hit, hit the bell. I think it's the dots on the side. You have to hit notifications, and make sure you're getting notifications on my channel when I put out new videos, or otherwise you won't get, chat, you won't, you won't get a ring for them. Also, it's a little frustrating. You can actually type in my name. Barry Littleton, Melanin Dominant Black Extraterrestrials. The exact name of my video, and it won't come up. You get all other people's stuff will come up, but mine won't be on there at all. So when you look at my channel, please look at the playlist. I try to put them all in categories. Some may come up twice in one or two categories, but they're all in there. They're worth looking at. Please check it out. Please subscribe. Thank you to everyone on Patreon. They're keeping this work going on. The few people there, I cannot say that enough. Please keep safe and God bless.